She is so cute. I'll be back. Me as a lifetime, baby. Oh, I was at the Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm doing a one brand tutorial and as you can see by the title, I'm doing Dose of Colors, which is like, so random, right? But they had a sale the other day, so I picked up a few things to like, get this whole face going and honestly, I look amazing. <laughs> Sorry guys, I look good. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching and make sure you guys are subscribed, you guys thumbs up this video and also comment below any other brands that you guys want me to do full face on. I keep asking you guys but I'm literally taking notes and buying things. So without further ado, keep watching. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Dose of Colors, okay? I'm super excited because um about a week or two ago dose of colors had a sale i believe it was 30 or 40 percent off and i just kind of went in i just bought like enough to do a full face what their site has to offer at least so this box is full of some goodies i got some i got some eyeshadows i got foundations concealers lip stuff all goodies okay so um, I've actually never tried any of this, so I'm kind of nervous. I used one of the eyeshadows on the other day in a video. I liked it. I've used their um, highlighters before. And what else? Why can't I think? Oh, and I've used, of course, the Daisy, Daisy, Daisy Katie palette, which is one of my favorites, a staple. So I figured if I love that eyeshadow that much, I'll love the other eyeshadows. And I just want to try it. I feel like, try, I, I don't know, I'm just enjoying like trying brands that people kind of sleep on. Because you don't really hear that much about Dose of Colors unless they launch something. And then after that, it's kind of like died down. So... We're gonna get into it and speaking of get into it let's get into this hair because you guys this is day three hair i have not recurled anything i have not relayed anything and sis is looking double good okay like it's a little ashy right there no it's a little ashy right here but it's okay it's cute so if you want hair information i know you guys are gonna ask it's gonna be in my description box i did a video on this hair and everything as well so we got that out the way okay okay so, um, Dose of Colors didn't have any brow products, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera, just so this video is not super lengthy, and I will be back. So I'm going to go straight into my eyes. I did use the Dose of Color concealers for my eyebrows, and they are giving. I cannot wait to use them on my face, but I'm going to go in and... Oh, I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the lightest shade I got, which is Dark 22, just so I can get the most color payoff and the most pigment for my eyeshadow. And I have no idea what look I'm doing today. I might not have to set that. That dries down very nicely. Yeah, I'm not gonna set it. So, I don't know what kind of look I'm doing today. My brushes is hella dirty. <laughs> So I got three of the baked shadow palettes. Are they baked shadows or am I lying? Anyways, I got three of these shadow palettes. I got the Blushing Berry, Sassy Sienna's, and Baked Brown. And I'm going to show them to you guys real quick. I've never tried them, but I was just saying the other day that I really wanted to try. Not really wanted to try. I really wanted to get some more matte shadows. Just like matte shadow palettes because one, I really enjoy matte shadows. And I just feel like I have so many shimmers and I have to dip into the same palettes for matte. And then like I just, yeah. So I just want to just plain matte um, palette. So this is what they look like. They're so cute. I love this packaging. They look like these. And this is a Blushing Berries. And they do come with a little brush. I'm probably not going to really use that. But this is the Blushing Berries. Oh, you can see my setup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is Sassy Sienna's. This one is calling my name. All right. 
And then this one is baked browns. I thought this one was gonna be a lot deeper, but it's not giving much browns. It's giving me very much peachy. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, that's those. And then I got, I'm just gonna get all the eye stuff out the way just so that you guys can see all that I purchased with my coins. So this is the packaging that the um, single shadows that I got came in. And these are called the block party shadows. These came out like I think last year or the year before. But I really wanted them. But honestly, I did not want to spend $25 on a single shadow. That's just not my, that's just not something that I enjoy doing. <laughs> so I got these. So this is block party. I'm not going to swatch them because I'm just not a swatcher. I'm just not. Even though I like watching swatch videos, but whatever. So this is Block Party, and I did swatch some of them earlier. It's really pretty. It's like this brown with like, um, and please excuse my nails, with like blue silver reflexes. It kind of reminds me of like Max True Brown, but not as blue. Then this is X-Ray, which this one is so pretty. It's like a black with like different reflexes in it. And I know they look very underwhelming on camera, but they're just nice subtle shadows. They're just like kind of creamy to me. They're not literally creamy or wet, but the way they go on is just super creamy. They have like legitimately like little tiny specks of glitter. So for me, it's like perfect. I love that kind of look. I don't like chunky, chunky glitter. I like like iridescent kind of glitter. And then this is Shall We Dance. This is my favorite. She's so pretty. Then I got Encore, which is I think another dark. Oh no, this is the one I used in my tutorial the other day. It's like this. Um, let me. Can I? Can I focus? And then this is Encore. This is one. This is the one that I used the other day. It's literally, literally, like a terracotta, but it's brown. But it has like sparkles in it it's just so pretty and then lastly i got jackpot and this is like an olive green and i feel like i needed one of these in my collection because i don't really have a nice olivey green shadow so that concludes the eye so now that my eyes are set and all that good stuff i'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out what i'm doing to my face because the girl has no idea I think the main star of today is going to be Shall We Dance. I know you guys are going to be like, really, Tasha? Like, oh my gosh, but that's how I'm feeling. So I'm going to go in with the Sassy Sienna's, and I'm going to go in with the shade Brassy, and it's this nice orangey brown. There is some fallout in there, but that is the price of pigment. Oh my gosh. I am shook. <laughs> you see, I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous because my girl Lala was like, <laughs> do you like those shadows? I'm like, yeah, I love those of color. She's like, these palettes? I'm like, I never tried them. And she's like, okay, sis. And I thought they were going to be trash, but I'm not mad at them. I like it a lot already. I know I only put one color on, but so far I'm feeling like I'm not having to do too much. And this look is going to be easy. And you guys know I live for easy looks. I feel like I'm not centered in the camera, but you guys can see me. So I'm not going to get up and change it. I will say that it is kind of oxidizing right here and my brush was clean. I specifically picked up a clean brush even though this is not my favorite brush. This is the Morphe M433 brush. But um, it is oxidizing a little bit but it's blending out nicely. And it also could be oxidizing because I did not set my concealer so it's wet. So if you put something dry and powdery on a wet surface, guess what happens y'all? It darkens and oxidizes. But it's all good in the hood. Now I'm just taking a clean brush and just blending out those edges just so that it's super soft and not harsh. You want to see the color, but you don't want to look like you don't know how to blend. There is like kickback as you guys can see, but I mean, 
it doesn't really bother me. I just always blow it off. <laughs> like, whatever. And now I'm going to use Stay Sassy. It's that brown in the palette. And I'm going to deepen that crease up just a little bit. I think it's kind of weird though that it looks like I already put brown in my crease when I really didn't. I mean, maybe I should set the eyeshadows next time, but I really do like how it's blending out. It's not like patchy, it's not doing anything weird because that should be pissing me off. So next I'm gonna go into Shall We Dance. Let me make sure this is the color I wanna, yep, this is what I wanna use. So I'm gonna go to the shade Shall We Dance with this weird eyeshadow brush that I just found. And I'm gonna place that all over my lid. And do you guys see how that just glides on? Like, oh my gosh. I freaking love these shadows and I should have got more. But I just, sometimes I OD and then stuff just be sitting there and I don't really like it. But these are so nice and smooth. I feel like these didn't get enough hype. I literally feel like people only posted them when they got them sent in PR and then like, Like I was saying, I feel like people only use them when they got them sent in PR and then they never touch them again, never saw them use the shadows again. Like I know people don't use everything in their videos, everything that they have in their videos, but you know when somebody likes something, you see it again. And the girls were just not really effing with it. Like they wasn't, but they're so nice. And I did not have to use my NYX glitter primer. And you guys know in every single video with most shadows, I have to use my NYX glitter primer. Ooh, where am I? I'm gonna take that brown again and just kind of blend it into that shimmer. So I actually don't have anything on my face right now, not moisturizer or anything, so I cannot wait to get some life back into my skin. So, another reason why I've been procrastinating this video is because I opened the foundations, I cheated and opened the foundations, and I think they're too light. But you guys not always say that and then they end up being not light. But like, I really think these are too light. So I use Jackie Ina as a reference. I literally typed in Dosa Color Foundation. Her video popped up, was one of the first ones. And we always have the same color, foundation matches. But baby, I, I don't know what's happening here. But um, I got, this is how the foundation comes in this packaging. So I got two shades. I got shade hmm, dark. 129 and I got dark 130 and I'm gonna tell you right now this is about to be barely pushing it and this one's definitely not gonna work so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one to work and put it in my kit because this one is not gonna work okay and then I got the seamless sponge which a lot of people seem to like so I'm gonna go ahead and wet that and try it out it's really soft it looked really hard in tutorials that's why I was like debating like do I really need to get this it's super soft. So let me read the claims on this so I can determine which primer I'm going to use with this because I want this to be a successful video. I want this to be a nice flawless beat. So this says, our lightweight medium to full coverage foundation delivers a blurring effect which reduces the appearance of fine lines and skin imperfections. So, okay, so it's high pigment has a matte finish, buildable, lightweight, and it's long wear. That's what it says on the side. So it's matte, right? So I'm gonna just use a found, I'm gonna go ahead and wet this and I'm gonna grab a primer and I'll be right back. So Dose of Colors did not have a primer, which I think is weird because you have foundation and concealer. So I feel like you should just, you know, formulate up a little primer. But today I'm just gonna use my Milk Hydro Grip because it seems to be compatible with a lot of my foundations and I don't think it'll ruin anything. And my face is so dry right now because I did not moisturize or anything. <laughs> so. so I'm gonna be trying shade 130 and I pray that this works. I pray because this is basically, you know foundation is my thing, skin is my thing. So I just feel like if this doesn't go right, then this is just, uh, the whole video is trash. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. It looks so yellow, you guys. It's, mm. and this sponge is super soft, by the way. Like I should have probably got more. 
But I'm just gonna, I used two pumps. Or was it three? I don't know. And I'm going to Okay. So this might work. Okay, so on camera, it's coming off. I look warmer on camera. I don't know if it's my settings or just the camera or I need to get my life together. But it's literally a little bit... I can't explain it. But it's working, so whatever. And the coverage is really nice. I'm really, really enjoying the sponge. <laughs> Like a lot. This is um, a matte finish, but it's not giving me dry. Maybe it's the primer, maybe it's the formulation, maybe it's really not matte. Cause you know some brands be uh naming things, and it ain't that. So far, I'm really enjoying this foundation. I love the coverage of it. I love the finish of it. Like, but you guys see I'm still like shiny. Normally a matte foundation would have dried down by now and I would have had to work really fast. But I feel like I'm able to, I have time to work. What is this doing? <laughs> I have able, I have time to work and move with this product. So I am mad at it. Ideally, I would like to go a shade up. I know it's coming off on camera like it matches and that's great for me. Love that for me. But in person, it's just like, it's just, okay, it matches, it matches. I'm gonna shut up, it matches, okay? I'm gonna shut the hell up. So, next I got concealers, and y'all know I do not play about my concealers. So I got three shades. I got dark 22, dark 25, and no, I'm saying it wrong. I got 22 dark, 25 dark, and 26 deep, okay, in that order. So I'm gonna start off with dark 25, 25 dark, whatever the hell. It'll be listed below. And I'm gonna use that as my first concealer because you guys know I like to layer my concealers. So this one is closest to my skin shade, actually is matching like perfectly. It's literally blending into the foundation. So that's great. The description of this says, our multitasking full coverage concealer has a lightweight, easy to blend formula, conceals dark under eye circles, blemishes, and other skin imperfections. And it says on the side that it's blendable, lightweight, long wear, full coverage. So, we're gonna see what they're talking about. And you guys, I love this sponge. You guys know I, I'd be hella picky about my sponge. But this one is hit 10. That's that first layer of concealer. It looks really good. <laughs> this, I should have ordered more stuff so I could have it for work because I freaking love it. I love it. <laughs> and to highlight, I'm gonna use 22 Dark. And I'm gonna highlight. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but this is kind of giving me a pinky undertone. Um, Their concealers were kind of hard to shop with. I feel like they had a lot of um, peachy corrector kind of I don't know I actually love this point that the um, sponge has because it's like you see how it's like getting like right there it's perfect they knew what they was doing they knew oh my face looks great what do you guys think what you guys think and it is very lightweight. Like, I don't feel anything on my skin right now. Shook it. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my um, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder because Dose of Colors did not have a setting powder, which I think they should. But that's probably coming soon, so I'm not going to pressure them along with the primer. Right, guys? Right. I'm just going to press that in because this powder never does me dirty. So I just have to grab what I'm used to and grab what I know. It's like I want to give you guys a fun look when I do these full face tutorials. But I have to be realistic. And if I try to do too many things out of my element, like do a bold lip color or like a bold eye or something, it's just not going to look right. Like it's, it's not because it's out of my element. So I have to do something that I do on a regular 
just with newer products. So I hope you guys don't mind that. And you guys are still liking these full face tutorials. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using my Makeup Forever, um, the matte velvet. And I'm just gonna set all those areas. And the foundation indeed is matte, you guys. It did dry down matte, but it just took a little bit longer than most matte foundations. I don't know why I always do air quotations, but um, most matte foundations dry like on contact with the skin. This one just took a little time, gave me some time to work with it. And I actually like that because a bitch needs time to blend, okay? Nobody blends in 0.2 seconds. I'm just gonna take my Morphe bronzer because they don't have a bronzer, guys. In the okay, in the shade Leader. And I've actually really been liking this bronzer a lot. So I know you guys are tired of me using the Fenty, but now you guys are gonna be tired of me using the Morphe Baby Girl. And it's just so big, like, I love that. But it's so weird to me that it says face and body bronzer. Like, do people put bronzer on their body? I never... This foundation is actually like flawless, like perfect. I'm in love, I'm in love, love, love. I really want to wear some blush, and there's no blush, but I feel like I can use this palette. Not the berries. Mm -mm. I'm gonna use the Sassy Sienna, and I'm gonna use the shade Bossy, which is this peachy shade, and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. Because guess what? It's all the same, y'all. I'm gonna go into this um, Baked Browns palette and I'm gonna use Tea Light and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I actually really enjoy a matte inner corner. If you didn't know, now you know. Maybe I should use this side of the brush and pack it on. It just gives the look something that it needs. Mm, it's bringing it up a notch. You guys are probably like, girl, bad. So, um, the face is pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera. I don't think I wanna do liner today. I'm really liking this open look. Um, highlighter, I did not get because I don't wear highlight like that and I wasn't gonna buy a whole highlighter just to highlight my nose. Like, I don't. But I will tell you that their highlighters are amazing. I use them at work. I use them on clients. And they just glide really nicely on the skin. They have really nice shades. I, w I meant to bring home one of the... Um, do I have any home? I don't. I meant to bring home and um, one of the highlights from them. But I forgot. And I wasn't going to go to work and then come back and record and then go back to work. That's a dub. So just take my word for it. The highlighters are great. So if you are a highlight girl and you see um, any that you like, literally just pick one up like you're not going to be disappointed the highlighters are amazing but you guys know i love my matte face these days unless i'm going for a glowy look and i'm not going for a glowy look today my face literally looks filtered like in person oh i wasn't even going to take a picture today but i might just why is it sticking though i'm gonna cry oh yeah so I put on my lashes. These are from Glow Up Academy in the style Pop Pretty on Purpose. You guys have seen that a million and one times and they are still going strong, baby, strong. So make sure you guys check her out. I will leave her website in the description box. So now I'm gonna move on to my lips. And I got three lippies. I think I got one matte and two gloss. Cause y'all know I'm a gloss girl. So I'm gonna show you guys the matte first. Knock on wood, and I will swatch the, the lips because you guys can't really see it. So this is knock on wood. It's a nice nude. It's so pretty. I wanted to zoom in on that. It's so nice. Love that. I'm really picky about mats, you guys, so I didn't get a lot. The next shit, so now I'm going to show you guys the glosses. This is That's Cool. This looks more like a... Uh, brownish nude really pretty though Ooh, super pretty do you guys see that 
Love that. This is like, I always tell myself I like these nudes and then when I put them on, I take them off because they're too dark because I like like pale nudes. Like I like a good liner and a pale, pale nude. And then I, why did I get this? Girl, what the heck? Then I got this shade Jazzy. You guys, I don't even wear colors like this. Like what am I going through? Okay, sis. And it's like this, it's super glittery. Well, this one, this one smells good. But this is Jazzy, girl, she is Jazzy. Hold on, let me see. She is very much Jazzy. Mm -hmm. So, um, they had lip liners, but honestly, their lip liners just did not look dark enough. And I had looked through some tutorials, and it was, you know, some white girls, and they were like barely brown on them. So, like, I was like, it's just not gonna work for me. So, I'm gonna stick to my KKW lip liner in the shade Nude 3. And actually, I'm gonna just do the matte today. I'm feeling optimistic. So, I'm gonna use the matte in Knock on Wood. And whenever I do mattes, I always like swipe the bottom and then just spread it out. And never like over layer, let it dry and then add another layer. That's the biggest mistake people make with mattes. And then they get all clumpy and gross. So I, I can feel it getting dry, so I'm gonna add one more layer. Huh, 50 layers. This is a look. And I just keep blotting until it literally feels dry. And I love Dosa Color Mattes. I used them years and years ago. And they're so comfortable. They don't get all flaky and gross, like, I love them. Oh, I love this color matte, it's like warm. Most of mine's are like very, very pale. This is like pale, but it compliments me, like, I love this. I love it, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna fix my hair, and I'm gonna come back, okay? I'm gonna let my face like sit for a few minutes. And I'm like, she is so cute. I'll be back. All right guys, so that pretty much completes this video. I absolutely love how my face came out and I had so many doubts because of this foundation. But the foundation actually looks amazing, like stunning in person. Like it's like beat, but it's not heavy. Like I'm kind of shook. I'm a lot of shook. So make sure you guys check out the description box. I will have everything listed below that I used today, even stuff that was not Dose of Colors related. I will have everything linked below. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.